Displacement is the change in position of an object. The unit S represents the quantity of displacement. From a vibration perspective, we look at displacement as the amplitude, distance, between the peaks of vibration. Displacement should not be confused with distance. Distance can be seen as how far an object is traveled, whereas displacement is the change in position of an object. This image provides a good visualization of how it differs. We can see that both can be seen as a route from A to B, yet the distance is dependent on the route taken, whereas displacement is not. To measure vibration based on the displacement quantity, a displacement sensor is used. These sensors are also known as non-contact proximity sensors, or eddy current probes, and are typically used in sleeve bearing applications, or fluid film bearings, to measure shaft vibrations. Velocity is the changing rate of displacement to time. The unit V represents the quantity of velocity. To measure vibration based on the velocity quantity, we use velocity sensors. These sensors are typically used to measure casing vibrations on rotating equipment with fluid film or sleeve bearings or rolling element bearings. Acceleration Acceleration is the changing rate of velocity to time. The unit A represents the quantity of acceleration. To measure vibration based on the acceleration quantity, we use accelerometers. These sensors are typically used to measure casing vibrations of gearboxes or rolling element bearings. If we take a look at this plot, we can conclude that the relation between the signal strength and frequency determines which sensor is best to be used for a specific application. Again, S, V, and A represent the measurement quantity's displacement, velocity, and acceleration. F is the frequency. The vertical axis represents the amplitude A. We can see that for measurements on low-speed applications, it is best to use the measurement unit displacement. The amplitude A of the displacement signal is highest at low frequencies. We can also see that for measurements on high-speed applications, it is best to use the measurement unit acceleration. The amplitude A of the acceleration signal is highest at high frequencies. Velocity measurements provide the most constant signal. In a later chapter, we'll dive deeper into the sensors, the different measurement principles, and the best sensor choice for different applications and frequencies. The three different measurable quantities each have their added value when used for vibration measurements. To visualize the parameters and their relation, we will take a look at an animation in which we show a mass spring damper system. When in its resting position, there is no displacement, no velocity, and no acceleration. And when a static force, F, is applied, the reaction can be expressed by simple formulas. In these formulas, F is the static force, K is the spring constant, C is the damping, M is the mass. F equals K times S, where S is the displacement. F equals C times V, where V is the velocity. F equals M times A, where A is the acceleration. When the force becomes dynamic, the behavior simply repeats itself, and the amplitudes are swinging around the resting point. For sinusoidal signals, the displacement, velocity, and acceleration signals do not reach a maximum at the same time. This is clarified in the last animation of this chapter.